Hello, friends, and welcome to Figure Study, where we are appreciating the form in slightly altered and repainted Transformers. Today we're taking a look at Titan's Return RC. This was not a figure I was positive I was going to be getting anytime soon, because it, it's a repaint and slight remold of Blur and Brainstorm, and it's the same figure, so I didn't think I was going to want to get her, but after seeing a couple videos, I realized Hasbro's terrible product photographers struck again, and the promo shots for this figure made it look a lot worse than it actually is. I mean, yeah, it's still a remold and repaint of Blur slash Brainstorm, but the work that went into this is actually pretty, pretty nice. There's enough different on here that I really don't mind it. So getting in close, here is the vehicle mode, which is pretty much just Blur's vehicle with uh, pink and white instead of blue and blue with a little dab of blue and some blue for good measure. Yeah, primarily pink and white with like a little bit of these sort of darker gray details and it's a color scheme that works. There is some slight molding differences mostly in the front here from what I could tell, in vehicle mode anyway. I don't have blur to compare her to anymore, so sorry. But still, I mean, I think this vehicle mode, remolded as RC, actually works pretty well. I mean, yeah, it's not RC's typical vehicle mode, but it's close. It's definitely, this works better as RC's vehicle mode than it works as uh, Brainstorm's vehicle mode. And paint-wise, there's actually a lot of extra paint on this, which is pretty cool. Like, just a bit here, on the nose there, this bit here. The white and blue in the front for the headlights, if those are in fact headlights. Just some more nice kind of balances between the white and the pink. And again, these little kind of darkish, they're, they're not black, it's like a dark gray. But yeah, just it all works really well, just the color scheme. And I like how they painted these back here to kind of drive home the point that it's like the back of the vehicle where the boosters are. It's good. It's it's RC colors, but it's there's a nice mix of colors going on here. So it's not just like Blur's vehicle mode is just like blue with a slightly different shade of blue up front. Here it's like a nice mixture of white and pink with a little bit of that gray in various spots. And bringing in Samus for a quick size comparison. I mean, if you have Titan's Return, Blur, or Brainstorm, you know exactly how big this... Uh, this vehicle mode is it's you know it's the it's the same size and speaking of titan's return brainstorm here we go you can see again they're pretty much the same size with the exception of brainstorm's uh <laughs> his nose is definitely longer but other than that they're they're the same again like it's just some very slight molding differences here and there but for the most part they are the same thing you can see, like, the details on the back side of Brainstorm's vehicle mode. They're the same as RC's, just painted differently. It's just, like, this fin is different. And even the, uh, even the windows, they're actually molded the same. It's just this has that added white kind of triangle bit painted in. And then it's just, like, this piece here that's different than, like, these bits here. And like I said, I think this works better for RC than this does for Brainstorm. I still think this is a fine vehicle mode, but like, this looks more like a futuristic car that had its nose stretched out and had some wings slapped on it. This at least works and doesn't look, like, awkward. It's not RC's traditional vehicle mode, but it's close enough. And I know normally I don't spend too much time on the Titan Masters themselves, and that's probably not going to change too much here, but I do think it's interesting how... RC's Titan Master is technically not a Transformer. I believe this is uh, supposed to be either Spike or Daniel's exosuit. The only reason I know that's even a thing is because I remember that being a really crappy accessory that comes with uh, Masterpiece Bumblebee. It's interesting just that this is technically a human <laughs> and not a robot. And it's also interesting that there's not a lot of paint, but I actually think it looks really good. Like just the like, yeah, it's just white with, like, a little bit of gray for the shins and then, like, silver for the head. 
which I am actually kind of worried about. Like, the, I feel like the paint's going to rub off, and because that's you know where it connects to the body. So I don't know, but I just I think it works actually. This is like one of those rare instances where barely having any paint is actually fine, and the molding is nice. I like the uh, the domed helmet there. It looks good. So we'll turn this into a head real quick, and then we'll move on to the regular robot mode. I guess while we're at it, let's look at that head real quick. And I actually like this head, too. It's not necessarily traditional RC, but it's close enough. And you've still got that, like, slightly pinkish face with the white helmet and, like, the pink earmuff things. I like the blue eyes and the little, little bit up there. It's funny, like, it almost... I wish they had gone slightly darker with the pink for the face, because as it is, it almost looks like it was, like, meant to be white and they just didn't put enough paint on it. Like, the tone is just a little too close to white. It just, just like, it just ever so slightly darker shade of pink, I think, would make it look a little bit more like it was an intentional color choice and not just not enough paint being applied to one spot, but... It still looks good, and I actually really do like this design. I like just the, the like, angled bits that come in from the sides and just the line work all over the helmet. It looks good. All right, let's do this robot mode thing. What do you say? There we have Titans Return RC in her robot mode, and again, it's blur slash brainstorm, but this actually works really, really well, and again, I am just really disappointed in how Hasbro's product photographers managed to take a figure that actually looks pretty darn good and just make it look very lumpy and unappealing. It's, it's weird. It's just those product shots, not good, but like in hand and in videos that I've seen and even on camera right now it's just this this actually looks pretty darn good and yeah I mean it's not again it's not traditional RC but it still reads as RC with all the white and pink and like just the nice color distributions and whatnot they even kind of fake her little back pods there and this works really well as RC this like yeah it's totally just blur with some slight remolding or brainstorm with some slight remolding and obviously a completely different paint scheme but this works really really well one thing that is a little strange to me though is the fact that rc does not have an autobot logo on her in robot mode like there's the the autobot symbol on the front of the vehicle mode which you can do the, you know you can take it off and do like the the shield thing guns stored there too like you can totally do the shield thing like uh, like you could with Blur and with uh, Brainstorm, but I actually don't prefer it in RC's case. And so I tend to just keep it on her back. But yeah, you can see big ol' Autobot logo there. Absolutely nothing in robot mode. And this bit here that on uh, Brainstorm, I believe, is an Autobot logo. You can see it's the shape of an Autobot logo, but it's more just like a non-committal just mechanical bit there and there's a little spot for the Autobot logo as well but there's no Autobot logo there reason being when you close this up it's completely covered so I mean putting the logo there would have been pointless but I just wonder if they could have maybe put one like up here but then I guess you would have seen that in yeah you would have seen that in vehicle mode that would have looked strange because if it were up like yeah Mm. Not entirely sure what they could have done. I don't know, maybe like, maybe just like an Autobot logo on her shoulder or something, but eh, regardless, that's what they chose to do, so that's how it is. And just because I'm actually going to give her her guns, because I actually think RC looks pretty darn cool with her pistols. And these are kind of neat, too. They're like, they're almost like kind of reminiscent of like Robocop pistols. I mean, I know they're not quite the same, but I just like how they're slightly larger than a regular pistol. And they're relatively featureless, but suitably enough with the, with the molding that's there. So I think they look fine. 
I like him well enough. And yeah, just having her, you know, standing ready to go is pretty cool. One issue that I do have, though, is her head's a little bit wobbly. I mean, it's okay for posing. She can still hold poses mostly, but, like, it's a little bit wobbly. And the problem is uh, <laughs> you can do the typical Titan's Return trick where you turn the, uh, the Titan Master head all the way around and pop him in. And that kind of offsets the wobbliness, but not really. And it, it like super doesn't hold in well. Like it's just like here, my hands back here. You can see I'm not holding it. It just comes right off. Whereas if you plug it in the usual way where it's still a little wobbly again, hand back here. So you can see I'm not holding it. That holds on a lot better. So I guess uh, pick your poison. I don't know. It's okay. It's something I can deal with. The overall silhouette is the same as Blur, with just a couple of minor exceptions. Mostly the shoulders. I mean, really, the yeah, the, <laughs> the shape of the robot mode is not that different. But it still looks good, and again, I really like how they did just the mix-up of the white and pink here. And there we can see her next to Brainstorm. And, I mean, it's, it's interesting. Like, they're definitely the same mold. And if we turn him slightly so that we can see them a little bit more from straight on you can see like there are a lot of similarities between the two of them in terms of pieces the only real differences being like you know the shoulders just the paint i mean the legs are entirely the same like from the waist down totally the same the little back of the seat that becomes the belly is exactly the same this piece is exactly the same it's just painted differently i think the forearms are even the same. Yeah, it looks like the forearms themselves are completely the same too. The difference being the uh, the bits that fold up onto the back. So really, the only molded bits that are different aside from the very obvious heads is, you know, those bits that I mentioned. And of course, there's Samus for that uh, oddly family photo-ish looking shot there. But yeah, RC's pretty much, you know, she is... Titans Return Blur and Titans Return Brainstorm, just with a different mold. I really do actually appreciate, despite the fact that they are the same mold, they do look quite different from each other, and I really, really wish that the official photography did a better job of getting that point across. And lastly, just because, here she is with... I have to pull this out a bit. Here she is with Wei Zhang's I'll See. They're a uh, oversized generations RC with some slightly different engineering. And yeah, I mean, definitely two completely different styles. Now, the reason I'm doing a comparison with uh, I'll see instead of generations RC is because I don't have generations RC anymore. So this is what I got. But I mean, even then you can see it's a very different design style for both, but they still do read as the same character, just in terms of the color scheme and certain specific design elements that are sort of carried over from one to the other, in a, in a basic sense, like the faux shoulder pod things. And also, if you turn her this way, you can see she's got that, that white pointy bit on her chest, like she does there. So yeah, I mean, they do, they do sort of read as the same character. And I think that is going to do it. Get this recentered here. And that has been my look at Titan's Return RC. I don't know for sure whether or not I can say that she's worth the uh, currently $30 asking price, just because like a regular deluxe is like around $20. But it's like, yeah, you're paying more for a figure that's basically a remold and a slight repaint. But at the same time, she is really nice, and she's got a much more involved paint scheme than a lot of the other Titans Return Deluxes. And she does come with the Ultra Magnus Titan Master, which I'm not showing here because this is a video about RC, it's not about Ultra Magnus. Whether or not this is worth the cost is entirely your decision to make. Personally, I don't regret it in the slightest. I think this is a good call, and well, this is probably going to be the last Titan's Return figure I add to my collection. I'm okay with that. I think she looks great. 
and honestly, it is about freaking time we got another RC. So, this will do for now. Hopefully Hasbro and Takara will eventually also give us a Masterpiece RC, but until then, we've got her. So anyway, that's gonna do it. That has been my look at Titan's Return RC. Thank you everybody for watching. As per usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Any combination of those three would make me a happy Rob, and remember, art is more than meets the eye.